everyone welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to my bedroom um so today as you can see in the title i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this white wardrobe so if you want to see how to do this stay watching I'm really privileged to be working with an empty room um, because I obviously just moved into the house at the time and um, I was you know getting things together but if you are not working with an empty room which is more than likely please ensure to move everything out of the way because it will get dusty remember we're going to be sanding things down it's going to get messy with the paint so get as much things as you can out of the room and out of the way and also empty out your wardrobes make sure there's nothing in there get some towels old sheets or newspapers to put on the floor just to make sure that you're keeping the floors tidy and not making a mess because trust me it's easy to make a mess after doing my wardrobe i realized how beautiful it looked and decided to get a chest of drawers and did the same exact thing so here are my chest of drawers and what they look like before and i'm about to do the same process that i did to the wardrobe to the chest of drawers so i unfortunately lost some footage which was the very first step so the very first step which i will explain is for you to sand down the surface of the wardrobe or the chest of drawers sand down just one layer because what you want to do is take away any shine because we want the paint to stick on i'm not an expert but this is what i found during my research after you finish doing that then you can copy what i'm doing now which is to protect any mirrors that are that are on the wardrobe just to make sure no paint gets onto the mirror so the next stage we're going to do once you have sanded down the surface is to prime now what the primer does it's essentially just an undercoat and it prepares us for adding the paint what the primer ensures is that there is better adhesion to the paint on the surface and it also increases the paint durability and provides additional protection for the material which in this case is the wardrobe so definitely do not miss this stage also you would know from basic you know understanding of color that white is not going to show up very well on dark colors so it, it's really good to get a good undercoat of primer and then add the paint on top for a great finish can you just see how handy and quick this rolling paintbrush is it's amazing and it ensures that you're not going to get any drip onto the floor so i love that plus it was very therapeutic don't forget to go in with a paintbrush into all the corners and nooks and crannies make sure you get it extra perfect and clean and don't overload your brush with too much paint because it will not have a good outcome One coat of paint should be fine, but if you feel it's patchy, then you can go back in. Just make sure you are waiting for the paint to dry as suggested on the packaging. I went ahead and got new doorknobs. I decided to go for rose gold doorknobs because that's part of my theme. And I went for individual doorknobs rather than the one, the type that it originally came with. This is optional, so you don't have to do this, but I think it just adds an extra glam element to it. Using the sanding tool, make sure you just file down the corner just to make sure it's got a neat finish and it's not sharp. This part is optional also. I decided that I wanted a little bit more rose gold accent. So I purchased rose gold vinyl from the range and I'm cutting them into strips so that I can add them onto the wardrobe.
I didn't like the fact that there was going to be a hole where I wasn't going to put a knob on the wardrobe handle. So I decided to fill it up using wax. I mean, you could probably fill this up with something more professional, like, I don't know, something from B&Q. But I didn't have that. Also, I wanted the option to still be able to change the door handles if I wanted to without permanently blocking the hole. So I decided to go with some wax and just to file it into the hole. like to think the hole isn't as obvious as it was before so yeah I definitely think it's got a better finish if you do this finished now you can start putting your stuff back in your wardrobe and this is why tidying up takes ages this whole process took me about a week so I was relieved to be done but please, no one can tell me I don't have moves because I got moves. Comment down below if you think you know what genre music I was dancing to. If you look at the bottom right corner you'll see that i've made some changes to my room i decided i wanted black and silver as my new theme so i got new knobs new accessories new curtain and voila if you want to see some more diys give me a thumbs up and a comment and i'll definitely keep them coming thanks for watching bye